Hi, uh, in this video, uh, I'll show you how to create an app for controlling multiple uh, server motors from Arduino or any other microcontrollers you want. So first, uh, go to projects and start a new project and type uh, your project name. I'm going to use the project name for this as multiple servo and then click OK. So once uh, you reach into the screen, uh, first uh, we need a label. Uh, this one is for um, this one. Uh, I'm going to use this for uh, connectivity between a Bluetooth device. So when the Bluetooth device is connected, so this label will uh, indicate us that the Bluetooth is connected to the device. And I'm going to make it as fill parent and no text label for this text alignment to center so that's it i've created a label from uh, bluetooth connectivity and i go to list picker pick this one and place it here uh, this one will uh, help us to pick a list of uh, devices that is connected uh, to the android device so i'm going to make the width to fill parent and then text for this is to bluetooth uh, you can choose any image that you want so if you want any image just go here and click the image upload a file and place it here for the time being i'm not going to upload any image to the bluetooth device here and uh, so for me i have only arduino you know so i have only 6p wm pins that is available in arduino you know so i'm going to use six slider for this project two three four five and the final one so if you want to uh, create a gap between these two uh, you can uh, use a layout uh, between the tabs uh, you can go to uh, pick an image so place the file there so we'll get a uh, space between uh, first and second slider so if you play, place it like this so slider can place image between slides so if you want uh, you can also uh, place a different colors for the slider and uh, make the minimum and value change I'm going to with us fill parent for the second to fill parent and the third one to fill parent fourth one fill parent fifth one fill parent then sixth one to fill parent so I finished the slides uh, so when the slide position is changing I want to display as well so I need a user interface label to show the slides. So I'm going to use only one label. So whenever a slide position has been changing, uh, I'm getting the display here. So you can see with to fill parent. Okay. And then is the text text alignment to center. So that's it and uh, I need a few more components for this uh, like a Bluetooth client so go and pick a Bluetooth client from connectivity and place <coughs> inside the screen go and pick a clock from sensors so clock is there 
and I am going to uh, place an activity starter in this so where is that one story activity so I got an activity starter for this project and that's it I've placed uh, everything in the front screen so I can move on and build uh, blocks for those so first uh, I want to initialize the screen so when the screen 1 is initialized and set the activity starter action to so uh, this will allow uh, me to, uh, when the screen is uh, so if you are installed the app in your Android mobile when you open this app if the Bluetooth device is not turned on uh, this uh, block will make you to turn the Bluetooth device on so this will notify you that so your Bluetooth is turned off do you wanna turn it on can go with it so for this Android dot bluetooth then dot adapter dot action dot request q q a s t and the score enable sorry enable that's it uh, this will make the Bluetooth uh, device to turn on in your Android app and then once it initialize call the activity starter to start the activity so that's it for this action will take place when the screen initialize and once the screen is initialized and we can go on and pick a uh, the connected Bluetooth device. So for that, uh, we need to go on the image list picker. So before picking, I said list picker elements two. Below two client one and address. There's the names. So once uh it picks so after it's picking up we have to connect the Bluetooth address to the list speaker. For this I'm going to use the logic if then so if the Bluetooth uh, connect to the address set list picker 1 to selection that's it and then set the uh, list picker 1 elements to I'm going to use this one, so I'm copying it. So that's it for the Bluetooth connectivity. And you can come on and pick the clock timer. Then if then the Bluetooth is connected. connector then I want my first label text to sorry text to connected connected and I want to say the label color to Label one 
text color 2 so you can choose any color I'm going to use green here so <coughs> if this bluetooth client is not connected to set that to not connected it's not connected and I'm going to say the color to red that's it so these blocks are over now so if a slider now we have six uh, sliders Ouch. so I have six sliders so when the first thumb portion has been changing I want to set label to text to <coughs> go to math and choose round so this will round the slider portion value and uh, so for that I uh, have to assign a value for the sliders so um, here I'm going to uh, give a, a slider value to this uh, uh, so here I'm going to set it to 1000 then here 1000 on your IT and the second one to 2000 2000 on your and then third one to 3000 3000 on your IT and then fourth one to 4000 and then 4000 on your IT and then fifth one to 5000 and 5000 on your IT 1000 on your IT and then sixth one to uh, 6000 some position and 6000 on your IT the final position so it's over here so I assign the <coughs> value to the sliders then if I go on to blocks so when the first uh, <coughs> slider position changes so it will uh, the text in the label 2 has changed to the position of the first slider I'm rounding the value and then uh, I'm going to do some calculation here a basic calculation that is uh, going to minus the first slider position in the first slider oh sorry type block first slider from position to and then I'm going to minus this value by thousand so I by by doing this I can get a value between 0 to 180 of the position so here you can if you see that uh, I assign the value 1000 to 1080 here and here I'm subtracting 1000 2180 of a position thumb position here by 1000 so that if the position is 1180 I'm minusing it by 1000 so that I will get 180 as the position and I'm <coughs> going to send these values uh, by calling Bluetooth so when the thumb position changes I'm going to call Bluetooth and send two bytes number here so make sure that you are selecting two bytes number uh, not uh, any other number and uh, go on and pick around from math and keep here and select the slider thumb position okay so uh, almost uh, we have done all the work so I'm going to duplicate this, keep here, change it to 
and change this to 2000 change this one to slider 2 change gain this to slider 2 so everything is be pretty simple after this once you have done the thing change to slider 3 slider 3 slider 3 and change this value to 3000 can copy this so if you are uh, using a uh, Arduino Mega you can uh, control many servers uh, so that you can go on and add a lot of sliders to this I'm using Arduino you know that's a reason I'm using only six slider buttons so you can go on five combustion five Line up option to five. Can um, duplicate this one. Go to slider six. Press six here. Let's change six here. That's it. So everything is over, and then there is something is reminding here. How to change these values to four thousand, five thousand, and six thousand. So that's it. So when the slider position changes, uh, we will get the position as 1 to 180 in the label 2 and the real value is rounded off and then sent to a Bluetooth device that is we uh, connecting. And let's see the Arduino program for this. <coughs> Tipple servo. So here you can see in the app that I'm sending a 2 byte number so here so when uh, I'm receiving into this one I will get a uh, 2 byte again so the first byte I'm um, uh, reading this to server push POS and the second byte that will be uh, saved to uh, server POS1 and then these both numbers are added together in the real servo and then this will be checking so this the number that is stored in the real server will be checked whether it is uh, lies between 1000 and 1180 if it is lies between these two so here the position will be changed and then the ma portion of that 1000 to 1180 will be mapped to 0 to 180 and then it will arrive to the corresponding server so it's the calculation is pretty simple uh, but we have to careful when you are choosing the number there if you are choosing a different number like uh, if you are going beyond something uh, like if you are using like a thousand or thousand five hundred so whatever number you want you can use it but make sure that uh, you are using the same number here and mapping the same number corresponding number here correctly so this is I use up to six thousand to six one eighty of our six servos uh, if you are using if you want to use a uh, more than six servos you can go for mega and add some sliders and add some more numbers and uh, Check the numbers here and map the numbers here and write to the servos and thank you for watching this one And if you like this video, please subscribe and thanks once again